everyone. I know it's probably dark, but it's early in the morning and I am off to visit a friend today. Very exciting today. We're going to be installing something in the van. Uh, it's quite quite a big thing, so yeah, I needed a bit of assistance with it. It's, good, it's quite it's a, bit, a lot easier to have two persons doing this job. So today's video is sponsored by Ledger Vehicle Services. Make sure you check out their website below. They provide so many things for camper vans, uh, from swivel seats to skylights, and that is exactly what we are installing today. They have supplied a massive skylight for this project, and I'm off to visit a friend now who's gonna give me a hand to install it. It's quite a large skylight, so it's gonna let in a whole bunch of light. It's gonna let out a whole bunch of steam from cooking. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. Just hope I've packed all the right tools. Uh, if not when my friends got all the tools as well so an hour's drive once again massive thank you to leisure vehicle services i really do like their products i've had things i've had things from them before my swivel base was from them from in my ibico and i just i loved it i absolutely love it so yeah make sure you check out their links below hi everyone so this is my friend carl he's sitting he's in the middle of setting up this amazing workshop right here He's going to be working on vans himself, aren't you? Is that yep. the plan? Yep. Um, we're going to be building them, renting them, selling them, installations for people that can't do the bits themselves, <laughs> helping anyone, especially self-builders. It's amazing. It's an incredible space. And uh, he's very kindly let me come here today so we can install the skylight, aren't we? We've got this massive yep. skylight to fit. Huge, massive. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So let's get cracking. So for this skylight we've got, it's a 500 by 700 diameter, so Carl and I have drawn, I don't know if you can see, we have drawn a 500 by 700 square on the ceiling of our van. So we're going to drill four holes on each of the corners and then go up top and then cut the holes with a jigsaw. make up a wooden frame for the inside of this skylight and that's what Carl's measuring up now. Do you say about 40 mil on 40 the 40 mil frame, yeah, which will give us a temporary frame until you start adding the van. Yeah. Get the exact measurements you need. So you've probably seen this done before, but we're going to be using mastic strip. A couple of layers of this around the edge. 
you've probably seen it done before, but you have to build up the recesses. Put a little bit in all these recesses, and then you can get a nice flat length across the top. I'll show you. just got back from my friend Carl's workshop. Wow, he's, what he's building there is gonna be incredible. So once it, once he's all up and running and finished, I'll give him a proper shout out. And uh, yeah, if you've got any jobs that you need doing on your van, he's also gonna be helping people out with builds and doing full conversions himself. But yeah, amazing workshop and a lovely man. Thank you so much, Carl, for all your help today. Ah, uh, yeah, well chuffed. Just driven home in the rain and it didn't leak, so. So far, so good. I'll come out when it's really hammering it down, though, just to make sure that it's, there's no leaking. But yeah, very happy with this skylight. I'm going to go in because I'm tired, but I'll talk to you more about this skylight tomorrow. See you in a second. So, by the way, I haven't installed the insert yet. It comes with an insert which has the fly net and the blind, blackout blind. I haven't inserted that yet because I this, is, this inside has to come off when I put my cladding on the ceiling. So, but yeah, it does come with a very smart blackout blind and fly net but the unique thing about these skylights are these vents at the back as you can see there's these are vent the vented ones but you do have these blanking plates as well so if you didn't want it to be vented it doesn't have to be vented you can just pop them out and pop the bl blanking plates in but yeah i think the vented these are venting all the time so you, you've got all that warm moisture, warm air and moisture going out, you know. So I'm always going to keep it on the vented one, I think. It's going to help to keep the condensation down in here. But for the fantastic skylight, I mean, look how, look at the size of that. When it turned up, I thought, oh, that's too big for the van. But the light it lets in, I know I've got these lights on. But driving back yesterday from uh, where we installed the skylight, obviously there's no light, but lights back here, so... I could I look behind me and the amount of light that was being let in by this skylight incredible got all these different settings on I'm not going to open it now because it's a wet day but yeah you've got all these different settings but these skylights open completely up almost 90 degree up it's uh, yeah so yeah amazing okay so this is the insert which goes in last once I've got all my clad in and everything done I've got the blackout blind one side and a fly net the other side. So it really finishes it off, makes it look really smart up here. But I'm not gonna be installing that just yet because I want to get all the roof done and all the cladding and all the insulation done properly before I can put that insert on. Although it does come off again, I would rather not put that extra strain on the, on the clips that hold it on there, so. Yeah, but it is fantastic. I have, it has, I have seen it on there and it looks really smart. So, I'm gonna sign out this video. One more thing to point out with these inserts, with the blinds, you can get them with LED lights on. But I didn't need that. I've got. I'm gonna have plenty of lighting in here. 
uh, and also the skylight lets in a whole bunch of light so yeah I didn't need the LEDs for this version so so thank you once again to Leisure Vehicle Services for sponsoring this video and providing this uh, skylight for this project make sure you check out their information which is in the video description down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye